Hey everybody, Anthony Pazos here, celebrity hair and makeup artist with my beautiful model, Casey Washburn. Hello. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve a fall makeup look that I think you guys can do at home. So I hope you enjoy it. Your first step uh, is gonna be drawing in your brows. I'm gonna use a taupe pencil on Casey today and rule of thumb when you're drawing in eyebrows is very simple. Start at the tear duct your arch should be at the outer corner of where your color ends, and the length of it should be where your eyeball ends. When I'm drawing in the eyebrows, I don't like to do it in a straight line. I like to do it in little, small lines. Kind of just filling in the entire brow. It's better to start off light because you can always go back and make it darker. So after you've done in your eyebrows, you can set them with a brow gel or my favorite trick, a brow brush and a little bit of hairspray. It's really simple. Spray your brush and secure them by brushing over them. So the second step is going to be applying my Makeup Forever brand loose powder underneath the eye. This is a great trick because it'll prevent any of the fallout ruining your makeup and making you look tired and having dark circles underneath your eyes. So this is my favorite step. This is when we get to apply uh, eyeshadow colors on the model. Now when I think of fall, I think of oranges, deep reds, and deep browns. The first color I'm gonna be using is by Makeup Forever and it's called Star Powder. I'll be applying it with my Monda brush my Monda 410 brush from lash line to brow. So after you've applied your highlight color, you're gonna apply your contour color. And for me, I like to use Sephora brand Meteor Shower. I'm gonna be using this dark brown color over here. And I'm gonna be applying it with my Monda 530 crease brush. So I'm gonna start by applying my contour color in the crease of your eye. Lightly go back and forth, and then create a little bit of a V shape at the corners. After you use your contour color, if for some reason your highlight color is not popping, feel free to add just a little bit more right on the ball of the eye. The following step is applying false lashes. Now I know a lot of you at home have questions about this. There's a few ways to go about doing this really easily. And the first step is having the right product. I like to use Magic Super Hair Weaving Bond. It's actually for extensions, but I realized it works much better than using a duo or an eyelash glue. And it will come off super easy and it won't take off your lashes. The second step is you wanna make sure to try the lashes on first and cut them if they're too long. So you wanna make sure to get it as close to the lash line as possible. After you've put on your false lashes, your next step is going to be using black eyeliner. I'll be using a black pencil underneath and a paint pot from MAC on top. This one's called Black Track. Start by taking your black eyeliner pencil and outlining your eyes on the inside of your tear duct. For the top, you want to make sure that your bristles of your brush are straight and pointy so that when you're applying the product, it creates a straight line. Use your other free hand to hold your eye taut. This will allow you to have a perfect straight line. So now it's time to apply the mascara. Today's mascara is going to be by Rimmel. It's a really inexpensive mascara that works fantastic. Now, some of you out there are wondering why I'd be putting mascara on false lashes. Now the reason why that is, is because it's gonna combine your lash with the false lash, making them seamless. After you've finished your eyeshadow, remove the loose powder with your sable brush. You guys know how much I love the loose powder. It's great because it's a great time saver, especially if you're using dark eyeshadow colors. This will prevent your eyes from looking tired and dark. Now, you're going to use a blush. The blush I'm gonna use for her to stay in the fall theme is by Makeup Forever and it's called Margin. So our last step 
is applying lip gloss. Now, since the eyes are a bit on the dramatic side, I chose to pick a really simple color by Revlon called Sunset Peach, and it's staying in the fall theme. So rule of thumb is, if you have a dramatic eye, you wanna make sure you have a light lip. Unless you're going really crazy and dramatic, then you can do a dark lip and dark eye. But in this case, light lip is better. All right, that's it, we finished. I hope you enjoyed this fall makeup tutorial. Thank you to Casey, our model. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Let me know if you liked it. You can follow me on Twitter, at Anthony Pazos. My website is www.anthonypazos.com. And remember, love yourself, love others.